People have been put in a state of fear and panic through programming and brainwashing. This has been a massive psychological warfare operation by our modern media on the entire planet. Trauma-based mind control. Scare the hell out of you to believe what is going on. Control every source of information that you are seeing. There are many aspects to this plan, such as making you an impoverished slave overnight, but installing this weaponry under the guise of faster Wi-Fi is the most dangerous component and it is crucial to their success. Why is Congress signing bills to secure wireless communications and infrastructure in the United States? What the hell does government have to do with telecommunications? There is absolutely no justification for this besides it being part of their secret agenda. You know, imagine if they said, oh, we need McDonald's everywhere so people can get their McDonald's and their secret agenda was to make everyone fat, sick, and unhealthy. I mean. They did that already, but you see what I'm saying. The two new laws are part of an effort to bring faster, more secure networks to parts of the country that need it most. What the fuck? Create a fake problem that we need better internet? No one is complaining about that, but it is one hell of an excuse to install weaponry in front of our homes. Ever wonder why the news suddenly stopped covering what's going on in China? The news realized what is going on. They have bedded together and are taking the towers down. And guess what? Reddit is continuing to promote fake news to the hive mind echo chamber. Oh, here I am installing Wi-Fi during a worldwide crisis. Really? How is everyone so stupid? Hey buddy, why don't you take a selfie of the hazmat suit you're wearing? There are a few comments of people realizing what's going on, but the truth will never be exposed on a larger scale because of course you have plenty of useful idiots. The intellectuals will explain to you, ah, the radiation is non-ionizing, while they sleep next to their cell phones, blasting their brains to complacency. This is being installed wherever large amounts of people gather. Have you noticed all of these white trucks around working on towers in a time of crisis? Why is it, I guess, the Cable companies need workers. There's no shortage of crisis for these people. Take pictures, document them. While we are being distracted, locked in our homes, there are white vans going around making sure all the current Wi-Fi systems are upgraded to create this kill grid. Just in the past two days, I've had dozens of people send me evidence of this going on. This is not a C-O-N-S-P-R-A-C-Y. This is what's happening outside your door. Don't stay locked in your homes. Go out and document this. But why are cases so high in cities like New York, San Francisco, Italy, Italy? It's because that's where most of the antennas are set up right now. And even without this new infrastructure kill grid, the Wi-Fi we have now is still dangerous, but not outright weaponry. Every single F you in past history where millions of people have DIED, there have been changes in the electrical fields on this planet. The Spanish FW in the year 1918 coincided with an increase in the electrical grid. You know, what is currently going on is the masking of the new Wi-Fi rollout through this plan DEMIC. Anyone who cannot tolerate the new fields is going to be thrown in a coffin. Why else are we being blocked out of these places? What don't they want us to see? Schools, churches, government buildings, casinos, hotels, all closed to get you afraid of going anywhere near them so you can't see what's going on in those places. They're installing the infrastructure that will truly destroy us in the future. 
Unfortunately, they don't drive invisible vans and they don't install invisible antennas. They have shut down the entire world to install this where people congregate. Basketball stadiums, every public place, everywhere you go will be covered in this grid. Even bringing in the military to assist with the problem. And I heard people talking about, you know, these military people not carrying weapons around. They were having equipment probably to help install this. Also, why are we giving people free prescriptions to like play with yourself websites? Do they want a new generation of brainwashed robots after they throw their elders in their coffins? And the symptoms of the radiation poisoning from these devices will mimic respiratory distress, sinus congestion, like head pulsing, the effects that they will blame on the Toyota Corolla. They're not telling us what these devices are capable of, and they can certainly be controlled remotely. Oh, hey, Jim, uh, we didn't have enough hospital visits today. Uh, definitely uh, crank that up a few notches. You know, let's get some people coming in with some problems. That's literally what they're doing now and what they will do on a larger scale. The reason we're locked down is so nobody is looking while they're installing this. And as soon as that Wi-Fi is installed and tested, hey, Toyota Corolla might even disappear. You might never drive a Camry again either because it was never real to begin with. Trump even admits it will go away in April. Huh, just like Trump was saying, there is a storm years ago. Do you guys know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. What storm is We have the world's great military people in this room, I will tell you that. And uh, we're going to have a great evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. What storm is the president? You'll find out. <laughs> this includes all of the Wi-Fi devices in your home. Your Amazon devices, they have convinced you to put weaponry next to you when you're sleeping. Turn them off, test them, hardwire your devices. Make sure they aren't emitting harmful levels of these frequencies. You can get a smart and safe classic EMF meter for just $180 that will keep you and your family safe. They want you in your home, blasting yourself with these frequencies every single day. You know, electromagnetic fields, magnetic fields, all different types of, you know, dirty electricity, AC current. There are so many negative things, but this is on a whole different level. They will have a system that is capable of being remotely controlled. This will go live in the future and cause massive chaos. They can induce so many different problems in people and you will be dropping like flies. You know, combining this with a microchip will create a world none of us want to be in. You know, imagine if you disobey the law or do something and they literally blast your chip in your, in your head and you just start, you know, it's, it's, that's literally what they will do. You will be a robot tied to this system. We have a short window of time to expose what they're doing. You have to tell as many people as possible about this. This is a technology upgrade for the entire world. The tiny group of people that are controlling the world are showing their hand right now. They're showing people exactly what they can do. They can turn the world upside down overnight. I don't know what else is going to happen over the next month or two. You know, things that are on the table are an internet blackout within a few days including a financial reset. The people that are dying right now is from the panic, the stress, you know, not getting their medications, the regular F you, being inside all day and eating these processed foods, this garbage, getting blasted with the current Wi-Fi. That's what people are going to the hospital from. But if we don't expose what they're doing right now, real deaths will occur on a massive scale at the hands of these people. You know, there's been evidence of them padding the death statistics. They've been covering stuff up. They've been kidnapping homeless people, all types of scary stuff. And again, they might not even turn these devices on full blast to start. They might wait months, perhaps even years to make the true event happen. You know what they're going to do? Oh, we put up all these towers. Yeah, nothing's wrong, guys. Nothing's wrong. Look, the towers are up and you're all fine. And they have them turned off. <laughs> and they're gonna, what, what are they going to build your trust? They're going to build your trust and then hit them on? I don't know what they're going to do. As soon as they finish expanding their infrastructure, yeah, life might go back to normal. Hey, even the stock market might go back up. We might get some of our jobs back. Although at this point, I just don't see that happening. Uh, but at some point in the future, that button will be pushed. Might be a few small ones. 
might be a huge one at once. And hopefully this is a dry run at how stupid we are to fall for their lies. And there are people in the chain of command that, you know, carnivore diet influencers, vegan diet influencers, that are going along with this, pushing the fear, pushing the nightmare. Every single YouTube influencer I have seen is hiding the truth, even trying to sell you some powder or supplement or some nonsense. We'll be lucky if this does not happen now. But I guarantee you, this mission will be complete by 2030 if we don't stop this. Don't just tell people about this, put pressure on other influencers to spread the word. If everyone is presenting these facts about what is going on, we have a chance. It's absolutely despicable how these influencers are going along with this. Whether it's selling you a health product or telling you to get tested, it's because they know when you're getting thrown in that coffin with your family, they're gonna be safe at home, away from the Wi-Fi. They are saving themselves at the expense of millions, billions of people, just like the elite are doing right now. These people that are not talking about this are no better than the scumbags that caused you to lose your job, to lose your savings, to crash the stock market. All of these negative things that have happened to you in your life is because of these people. And right now, they're putting up towers outside your home because you are a stupid f or maybe you're not. I am, I am preaching to the choir in some aspect here, but you know, I'll tell people to their face this stuff and they still won't believe me. So what are you gonna do?